My name is Brandon Carr with the City of Pearland Police Department. Uh, I've been a police officer for nine years. The City of Pearland has a population in its extraterritorial jurisdiction of uh, just a little over 200,000. We started our drone program back in 2017. I, I was the one who initially started that and onboarded all of our pilots. We have drone deployments virtually every other day at this point. Drones are being used by law enforcement in a variety of different ways, not only to enhance the situational awareness to increase officer safety, but also in other applications such as accidents and crime scene investigation. My name is Wayne Baker. I'm the Director of Public Safety Integration at DJI. By being able to utilize a drone, we are more efficiently getting imagery on an accident scene that again allows us to open that road so much faster, reducing the risk to the responders in the roadway. It clears roadways so much faster and you get better data than the traditional methods that we've been doing. The fastest that we've been able to clear roadway on a major fatal is right over an hour, whereas before it took hours on hours on hours. The less time that I have to have an officer or a firefighter or anybody else standing on the side of the road, the better. My name is Mike Arnold. I'm with the Pearland Police Department. I've been here for about 15 years now. I'm currently the UAS program supervisor. Since we integrated drones into our department, we've seen a much higher clearance rate for finding suspects and missing persons. It allows us to clear a roadway in 30 minutes instead of six hours. Every day we're finding something new that we can do with it that we couldn't do before. While crash reconstruction has gotten way faster utilizing drones, I can do it even faster now running the Mavic 3. I was very shocked about how well the 20 megapixel camera can zoom using digital zoom and still maintain a high level of clarity. The mechanical shutter on it allows me to be able to fly faster. There's a lot of data in those images that allows us to have even better final products because of the technology that's in there. Officer Carr, I'm in route to the Major at 35 and Broadway, 35 and Broadway. So we're in route to the Major. Uh, what we'll do once we get there is I'll get in contact with the officers that are on scene. I'll find out how big the scene is going to be, how much I need to actually capture with the drone. Then I'll build out a flight plan. I'll utilize the RTK system in the drone uh, to use the corrections that it can do as well. And then I'll hit play and the drone will autonomously take off. It'll go and fly the mission that we created. With the Enterprise Series, we start to see greater integration of third-party solutions. The use of RTK for more accurate imagery, Flight Hub 2 with live streaming and mission planning, as well as utilizing Terra for the image processing. Once the crash reconstruction is say I'm good to go, at that point I'll shut it down, and then I'll head back to the PD to do post-processing. Once we have all the images in, we'll go ahead and start the aero triangulation phase. Every single one of these points are common points that Terra was able to locate the same pixel in multiple different images. As the drone was flying, it was already tagging each individual image with the RTK corrected data. So we captured the exact same scene once it became dark. And as you can see, at a high level, we can still be able to see if there was any kind of fluid markings, if, if there was any type of debris, and it still retains a high level of detail. We're seeing public safety agencies all over deal with challenges such as reduced budget and loss of personnel. So for these organizations that don't have the budget to be able to purchase an M300 with an H20T, they can go with a Mavic 3 Enterprise, and it would help bridge that gap. Transitioning into where we are today, it's been great. Everything that we have moved towards has only allowed us to be safer, make safer decisions, de-escalate sooner, be able to have better resource allocation. I'm excited to see where it's going to be in the next three to five years as well. It's only going to get better. I think we have seen the benefits of drones saving lives to the point the question is now, why do we not have this technology in our agency?